Hello, my awesome Sagis. Sagis, I missed you guys. Sagis, I hope you're doing great. It's Sunday morning where I am. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing Sunday. Sagis, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Sagis, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Sagis? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with facing in their life? And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Sagis? Ooh, this one wants to come out. Let's see, Sagis, what's happening? Wow, this is you not knowing where your soulmate is relationship is heading this is you having a lot of questions doubts uncertainties <clears throat> yeah this is you using your wisdom to make right decisions for yourself in your life yeah this is you analyzing everything objectively trying to make wise decisions in uh, anything that is of concern to you at this time yeah this is you working hard you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders stress yeah you need to de-stress. Huh. Yeah, look at this. This is you very connected with your soulmate. Trying to figure out, is this the one that is truly for you in this lifetime or if there's another soulmate? This is you trying to make sense of everything. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also Aquarius popping up here. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Sagis and how is Sagittarius currently doing on their summit journey. You're going to see very clearly. This is beautiful. I'm loving this because even though the moon card is questionable. Yeah, this is having fears. This is having uncertainties. This is not being able to see clearly because the sun card is on it. Uh, it shows that in due time, you will see correctly, very clearly, what you need to do, what you need to change, what you need to make a decision on. You're going to see very clearly. The sun will illuminate your path, so to speak. You're going to see very clearly what you need to do, how you need to proceed in your life. Yeah, ooh, this person of yours loves you, not letting you go emotionally. Yeah, some of you are thinking of changing jobs or maybe... Uh, and not so much because of a job, but because of so much stress from different people at your job or business. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you feel this person is the one for you, lovers. Uh, you guys are connected from many lifetimes, many past lifetimes connection. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini, also Leo. Yeah. This is you, uncertain if this person loves you or not. You're not sure. Yeah, you see? Look at this. There's going to be communication between you two, Sagis. There's going to be communication. Yeah, again, the moon card. This is you, having too many fears, worrying too much about things that are beyond your control, not sleeping well. Stress has you up at night. Stress is not allowing you to rest. Even when you do fall asleep, you feel tired in the morning when you get up. Yeah, this is you not sleeping well. So the reason for that is because you have too much stress in your life. You need to release some of that stuff that is beyond your control. Things that are beyond your control. For example, people's behavior towards you. That's beyond your control. Yeah, you can't worry about things that you can't change on your own. Yeah. You see, some kind of completion showing up here. You're going to see very clearly what you need to do to resolve the stress in your life. Yeah, how to handle this. This is you worried too much. Yeah, too many responsibilities on your shoulders. This is beautiful. This is you very connected with the divine. 
you know, as Trisha was, what's coming towards Sagis and how is Sagittarius currently doing on this summit journey? Yeah, you see, you're going to see very clearly what you need to do. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be communication between you and your soulmate. Yeah, look at this. This is your beautiful energy to describe you, whether you're male or female. This is you having your standards high, not lowering your standards for anyone, knowing your worth, value as a person. Whatever it is that you're concentrating on at your job or business, you're going to be successful at. This shows your diligent, detailed work, bringing profit in, bringing money in, income in, financial independence, financial security showing up for you. A lot of you are very successful at your own business, and some of you are very successful at a job where you work with a lot of respect from other people. Let's see. Let's see your soulmate's energy. Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Sagittarius. The soulmate of Sagittarius. What is going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis? And how is the soulmate of Sagittarius currently relating to Sagis, especially emotionally? Let's see what's going on with your soulmate, Sagis. You see, they view you as marriage material, lifetime commitment they want to have. They're interested in you, only you. Yeah. Wow, they're very guarded with their heart. This is them, whether they're male or female, no matter what sign they are. This is them very guarded with their heart. Uh, feeling a great need to express themselves, to communicate with you. To clear things up between you two. Yeah. This person has a lot of pride. Their pride is preventing them from reaching out to you at this time. They have a lot of pride, Sagis. A lot of you are dealing with um, Aries, but they could be any sign, really. This person loves you a lot. Yeah, they're not expressing their feelings, emotions at this time, hiding their feelings, but they truly love you deeply. See, they want long-term commitment with you but they're holding back right now they want to see you this person wants to communicate with you and see you that's what they want universe please show us but you see their pride is holding them back this is their pride holding them back not reaching out to you even though they want to so badly universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of sagis and how is the soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time? You see, they love you. You see, this person loves you deeply, very connected with you emotionally and spiritually. Deep connection between you two. Yeah, look at this. So, Sagis, this person is unable to release you, to let you go. Yeah, this is them holding on to you, not releasing you, not letting you go. You see? Because they love you. Yeah, they can't let you go. Even though they tried. You see? They tried. They're scared that if they reach out to you, you're going to reject them. Hmm. Yeah, you see? So they feel like they owe you some kind of explanation for something. Um, this person really wants to reach out to you, but they fear for how you're going to react. Yeah, you see? They feel stuck. They don't know what to do. They don't know if they need to wait for you or reach out to you. They really, really, really want reconciliation with you because they can't let you go. And the reason for that is because they love you. So this person is wondering, is reconciliation possible? That's what they want, though. They've been waiting. They've been checking up on you <clears throat> on a regular basis. They're checking up on you, Sagis. They're curious what's going on in your life, what you're up to, what you're doing. They're checking up on you heavily. Yeah, they feel guilt. So they did something or said something that they regret deeply and feel like they need to explain themselves to you or apologize to you. Whatever it is they did, uh, they feel bad about it. They want to correct it. They want to fix it. Yeah, they feel guilt, sadness, regret, heartbreak. They're not sleeping. They're not resting. Mm, this is very heavy. They want to see you. They want to communicate with you. Universe, please show us 
What's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis? Yeah, I see. They feel like they met you for a reason. You guys shared many lifetimes together, which means you're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. You see? They know they are at a crossroads and they're going to have to make that decision. They want to use their judgment, sound judgment, logic to make that decision uh, that they think will be like a decision that will either make or break this connection between you two. Yeah, see, look how scared they are. This is them frozen, uh, unable to make a decision right now, but they know they're going to have to decide either A or B, left or right, up or down, you see? A lot of you are dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, they want to manifest something here. So they know they're going to have to do something. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo and Gemini. Hmm, let me see one more. Yeah, I see, they can't let you go. They can't. They're not able to. Yeah, I see. They want reconciliation with you. They're just not able to let you go, and that is because of how they feel about you. Sagis, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Sagis, click on the extended read uh, extended link below this video and I'll see you there. Love you guys.